Hi, welcome back. In the last two lessons, we've been covering the idea of using unpitched staves, uh, like our concert band uh, combo here, um, and the idea of using note heads on these unpitched staves to produce different sounds based on the way they're mapped to the staff um, and mapped on the MIDI keyboard. Uh, in this one, we're actually going to start covering the idea of using right and left hand sounds. Um, now, in the template, the term you might read about in the README and read around on the forums is the idea of notehead twins. Uh, and the idea there is that whenever we're writing notes, like down here, we have just the, the one note head, but for drum set and many of the other instruments in VDL, they actually sampled both the right and left hand sounds. Um, so to get those sounds, we have what are known as note head twins. Um, so I'll just let you hear it. You can actually hear the right and left hand sounds here for the snare drum the uh, rim shots to combine and then same thing for the hi-hats and ride cymbal alright so in this one we're actually just going to be working with the hi-hat so let's go ahead and select measure choose eighth notes on our notepad and let's go ahead and just enter uh, a measure of alternating eighth notes this is going to be done using the MIDI keyboard all right, going to go ahead and double escape out of that. Now, if I select here, go ahead and check out over there on the right side. We've got the properties menu. You can see as I use the right arrow to go through these, you're going to see different note head numbers. The idea here is that the that first X with the one is for the right hand note head, and then right here is the left hand note head, the number forty. And for the most part, throughout the uh, VDL template here uh, that's been created by the right score, um, anytime you have a one note head, if there's going to be a, a note head twin for it, as it's known, it's going to be 40. Um, same thing, uh, say if we wanted to erase this and use the snare drum instead, it's going to be 0 and 31, as you can see over there on the right side. All right, I actually want to keep this as a hi-hat, so I'm going to select again. So there we go. Uh, one other thing I want to introduce here is the idea of being able to repeat patterns. Let's say we want to repeat this particular uh, measure. Select the measure and hit R, and then that'll just repeat the measure. Or if, say, we're wanting to just repeat these four notes, select those, uh, held down Shift to select all of those. That'll just uh, copy over those particular four notes. But I do actually want to go ahead and copy over everything there. So that's basically it for this lesson. Um, in the next lesson, we'll actually start doing some battery entry and digging into the uh, working with the battery instruments. So we'll see you next time.